to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. Father, we just thank you for this time tonight, Lord, to be able to uh, spend with all of our friends here on the broadcast. Lord, we just ask for protection from the trolls. Lord, we also ask for um, just just uh, uh, every person that comes on here to be blessed. And we just ask that uh, also um, that people's ears and eyes be open so they can hear the word of the Lord. Um, Lord, we just uh, we thank you for um, just everything that you've given to us. In your loving Son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good, good evening. How are is everybody doing? How is everybody doing? My name is Jason Wallace. Oh, my camera all messed up. Sorry, guys. How about that? Amen, amen. Okay. Let's see. I got it better. There we go. Hey, how's it going, Barbie? Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Angie's in the house. I saw Pastor Rick Costa in the house. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. You're good. I'm good too. How's it going, Angel? All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, let's get to this. My iPad would ever start working right here. Did I not put a title? I didn't put a title, so I can't read your comments. I'll be right. I'll be back. Right? I'll be right back. I cannot believe I didn't do a title. Yep, I can't see. I can't see. Periscope will be right back. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I just said you're live. No, I'll be right back, guys. Don't go too far.
until you come and sit a while with me. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more Father, we just thank you for this time tonight, Lord. Once again, we we uh, we're praying again because uh, we're we're just uh, we're asking for protection uh, from the trolls on this broadcast tonight, Lord. Lord, we uh we just thank you for the, the every single person that comes on the broadcast to be able to hear your words tonight, Lord. Lord, I ask that the words that come out of my mouth be true and honoring to you, and Lord, we just ask that um, that every single person gets blessed by this uh, broadcast. Yes, that's in your mighty, mighty, powerful son's name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. How's everybody doing? Sorry about that. We had to do a little re, redo, restart. It's all good. And I will never sing that song because I can't. <laughs> I can't. Who am I? I can sing that song. Who am I? Yes. All right. All right, all right, all right. It's getting late. It's getting late. <laughs> I am Jason Wallace. I am a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. I am a prayer warrior, an intercessor, a Bible reader, a devoted husband and father. I am a child of God. I'm a new creation in Christ. I am a saint. I'm a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. I'm redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made, and I'm a very proud member of the Jesus Did It family, the JDI team. Please make sure you check out the JDI website at jesusdidit.org. All right, take a look at it. Take a look at the great website that uh, Mr. Pastor Rick Haas has put together, and it's got some really cool stuff there. So there's the um, scripture thought of the day, and then there's the JDI team right in the middle. And then we got the um, <clears throat> the people that we like to watch every day, and then there is um, some pretty cool Jesus did it swag over there on the other side, and right there is the affirmation sheet. And guys, if you are in the Facebook group, right there, the Facebook group. If you're in the Facebook group, make sure you take a look at. Yeah, you missed us singing. Um, you want to take a look at. Um, our friend Becky has put in a um, uh, post in there about um, a climb she's going to be doing. And uh, she's asking to buy a, for you guys to uh, take a look at the shirt there. And if, uh, if you feel led to uh, help support um, the, the walk that she's going to be doing, um, certainly check out the, check out the uh, Huey Hussing. Revelation Sphere is in the house. Thank you so much for joining live. I usually see you on the replays. That is so awesome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. 
or join Pastor Rick Costa and Jesus Did It TV. Make sure you're following Jesus Did It TV, guys. Make sure you follow Jesus Did It TV and Pastor Rick Costa. This is the Jesus Did It family. And um, there's been some really, really cool stuff. Bless you, too. Bless you, too. All right. So, Jesus did it. Jesus did it. Oh, yes, he did. All right. So, somewhere in my life, this thing's going to work. There we go. All right. So, every night we do this sing thing. And, guys, this is a surprise one. But she's not here tonight. I'm so upset. I don't see her. But you know what? I'm not upset. Um, she's uh, spending some time with her church family uh, doing Bible study, so I don't blame her. She's probably doing some work too. Jen, thanks for following. Guys, thanks for all the invites, follows, and shares, all the all the super hearts. Jason did. That's right. <laughs> Here we go. Check this out. I sang with our own, with Israel Wendy. God of creation, there had to stop before the beginning of time. No point of reference spoke to the dark and flesh out the wonder of life. And as you speak, a hundred billion galaxies are born. In the vapor of your breath, the planets form. If the stars were made to worship, so will I. I can see your heart in everything you've made Every burning star, a single fire of grace If creation sings your praises, so will I So will I God of your promise, you don't speak in vain, no syllable empty your voice. But once you have spoken, all nature and science follow the sound of your voice. Oh, 
God of salvation, you chased down my heart through all of my failure and pride. On a hill you created, the light of the world, abandoned in darkness to die. And as you speak, a hundred billion failures disappear. Where you lost your life so I could find it here. If you left the grave behind you, so will I. I can see your heart in everything you Every part designed in a work of art called love. If you gladly chose surrender, so will I. I can see your heart a billion different ways. Every precious one, a child who died to save. If you gave your life to love them, so will I. Like you would again a hundred billion times. But what measure could amount to your desire? You're, You're the, the one who never leaves the one behind. God bless you. Bless you too, Wendy. Praise God for you. And to you as well. Well, there was tonight's song. Thank you, thank you. Your singing's next. <laughs> hello, hello, Danny. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. That was uh, sung, sung with our very own uh, JDI uh, team member. Um, Israel Wendy. So make sure you check it out. How am I doing tonight? I am well. A little tired, but uh, that's okay. Get to, uh, get into the word here. Great shot. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Let's get into the word. Okay, guys. Chronicles. First Chronicles chapter nine. Well, you know, we're trying. We're trying. We're trying. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to shut that off because guess what? It's not the right word. All right, so let's do this. Old school. All right. All of these were the descendants of Benjamin. So all of Israel was listed in the genealogies recorded in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah. Uh, they were take <coughs> excuse me, they were taken captive uh, to Babylon because of their unfaithfulness. The people in Jerusalem let me switch. There we go. The people in Jerusalem now the, now the first to resettle on their own property in their own towns were some Israelites, priests, Levites, and temple servants. Those from Judah, from Benjamin, and from Ephraim and Manasseh who lived in Jerusalem were Uthai, the son of uh, Amahud, and the son of Amri, the son of Imri, the son of Benai, the descendant of Perez, or yeah, Perez, the son of Judah, of the Shalonites, uh, Ashiah, the firstborn of his sons, of the Zerites, Jewel, 
The people from the Ju from Judah numbered 690. Of the Benjamites, <clears throat> Salu, uh, the son of uh, Mesh Meshulam, the uh, the son of Hodaviah, the son of Has Hasanua, 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 yeah. um, Abaniah, the son of Jeroam, Ela, the son of Uzai, the son of Mekri, the and Mushlam, Mushlam, yeah, Mushlam, the son of Sephaniah, the son of Ruel, and the son of Abijah, Abijah, There we go. Ibn, Ibn, Ibn Jeniah. Yeah, that, goodness. I'm sorry, guys. Um, the people of from Benjamin listed their genealogy numbered 956. All these men. <coughs> were heads of their own families. Of the priests, Jenaniah, Jera, Jera Oarib, Jera Oarib, Jachin, Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Meroeth, the son of Ahutub, the official charge of the house of God. Ada 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 son of Jerome, the son of uh, Peshur, the son of Milken Milkenajaya, Milkenajaya, man, and um, that's Mas Masai Masai, son of Adel, the son of I'm having some hard times here tonight, guys. Sorry. It's uh, Jehuzariah, Jehuzara, Jehuzara, the son of Meshalam, the son of um, Meshalamith, Meshalam, the son of Emir. The priests, who were heads of the families, numbered 1,760. They were, uh, they were able men responsible for ministering in the house of God. Flip this page. It's a long chapter too. Sorry guys, you're gonna put up with me beating up these names. Of the Levites, Shemaniah, the son of Hesahub, the son of Azakarim, the um uh, Azakram, sorry, Azakam, the son of Hesh Hashbaniah, uh Amerite, um Beck oh my goodness, it's B A K. B A K K A R. It's Bakara, Bakara, Bakara. Huresh, uh, Galel, and Mataniah, the son of Milka, the son of Zechari, the son of Asaf, 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 Obaniah, the son of Shemaniah, the son of Jael. Hey Caleb, thanks for joining over on. There we go. <laughs> Except one person, his name is Jesus. <laughs> oh, goodness. Sorry, I missed something. You're perfectly fine after no one is perfect. That's right. That's right, there's only one. Only one. Alright, uh, Gael, the son of Jedeth. Jedeth, oh my goodness, some of these names are just really tough. Jedutthayan, Jedutthun, and Berkaniah, son of Asa, the son of Elkanah, who lived in the villages of the Nethophilites. Nethophilites, yes. The gatekeepers: Shalem, Echub, Talmon, Ashaiman, and the fellow Levites. Shalem, and their and their chief being stationed at the king's gate on the east up to the present time. These were the gatekeepers belong, belonging belonging to the camp of the Levites. Shalem, son of Koor, the son of uh, Abba, Abbasaph, Abbasaph, yes, son of 
Horeb, Hora, and also the fellow gatekeepers from his family, the Korahites were responsible for guarding the thresholds at a tent, just as their ancestors had been responsible for guarding the entrance of the dwelling of the Lord. In earlier times, Phineas, the son uh, of Eleazar, was the official in charge of the gatekeepers, and the Lord was with him. Zechariah, the son of Meshemla, Meshaniah, was the gatekeeper at the entrance of the tent of meeting. Altogether, those chosen to be gatekeepers at the thresholds numbered 212. They were registered <clears throat> by, by genealogy in their villages. The gatekeepers had been assigned to their positions of trust by David and Samuel the seer. They, they and their descendants were in charge of guarding the gates of the house of the Lord, the house called the Tent of Meeting. The gatekeepers were on the four sides, east, west, north, and south. Their fellow Levites in their villages had come from the time to time and to share their duties for seven-day periods. For, uh, but, but the four principal gatekeepers, who were Levites, were entrusted with the responsibility for their rooms and treasuries in the house of God. They would spend the night stationed, or stationed around the house of God because they had to guard it. And they had to charge for the key for opening it uh, each morning. Some of, the, some of them were in charge of the articles used in the temple service. They counted them when when they were brought in and when they were taken out. Others were assigned to take care of the furnishings and all the other articles in the sanctuary, as well as the special flour and wine and the olive oil, incense, and spices. But some of what the priests took care of mixing the spices. A Levite named Meth Mattathaniah, the firstborn of Shalem, a Korathite, was entrusted with the responsibility of baking the offering bread. <clears throat> Some of the Korathites uh, there follow the Levites, uh, or yeah, their fellow Levites, sorry, were in charge of preparing for every Sabbath the bread set out for the table. Those who were musicians, heads of Levite families, stayed in the rooms of this temple and were exempt from the other duties because they were responsible for the work uh, for the work day and night. All of these heads of Levite families, chiefs as listed in their genealogy, and they lived in Jerusalem, the genealogy of Saul. Jael, 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 the father of uh, Gibeon, uh, or Gibeon, 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 lived in, in Gibeon. His, his wife's name was Mekah, Mekiah, Mekah, Mekah, and the firstborn son was Ab Abdon, followed by Zur, Kish, Baal, Nir, uh, Nadab, Kedur, Aho, Ahio, 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 yeah, Ahio, uh, Zechariah, and um, Mikloth. Mikloth was the father of Shim, uh, Shim, Shimeon. Uh, they they too lived near the relatives in Jerusalem. Nair was father of Kish. Kish, the father of Saul and Saul, the father of Jonathan. Uh, Melchi, Shua, uh, Abninadab, and Eshbaal, the son of Jonathan, Meribbaal, who was the father of Micah. The sons of Micah, uh, uh, Pithon, Malek, uh, Tariah, and Ahaz. Ahaz, the father of Judah. Judah 
was the father of El Elameth, uh, Azam Azamath, and Zimri. And Zimri was the father of Moza. Moza was the father of Benia. Uh, Rephaniah, the son, what was his son? Uh, you, you, Elish, Elish, Elisha, the son of Azil, and his son. Azil had six sons, and these were their names. Azakram, Bokuru, Ishmael, uh, sh uh, Shira, Shira, Shiraya, 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 sorry, uh, Obanai, I don't know why I had a hard time with that one, and Hanan. These were the sons of Azil. There you go. It's starting to build up. We're starting to see where all these people are starting to come together. We're starting to see how Jerusalem and how, how Israel is, is doing. We're getting there. We are nearly halfway. Nearly halfway. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for joining me on your first day on Periscope, Samir46. Thank you for joining. You have come to Jesus Did It broadcast. We're very thankful for you being here. All right. Every single day we read from the Our Daily Bread. Our Daily Bread is a free publication that you might be able to get at your church. You might be able to get your church. Um, Danny, I've been a God, son of God from a long time ago. Amen to that, brother. And God knows our names, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, yep. And uh, you can download the app, or you can get it right there. Or you just come here and read it for you. So, for Wednesday, December 6th, the title is Trusting God Even If. And it's written by Z Zythel Dixon. Due to an injury that occurred in 1992, yeah, that was the year I graduated high school, I suffer from chronic pain in my upper back, shoulders, and neck. During the most excruciating and disheartening moments, it's not always easy to trust and to praise the Lord. But when my situation feels unbearable, God's constant presence comforts and comforts me. When he strengthens me and reassures me of his unchanging goodness, limitless power, and sustaining grace. And when I'm tempted to doubt my Lord, I'm encouraged by the determined faith of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They worshiped God and trusted him and trusted he was with them, even when their situation seemed hopeless. When King Nebuchadnezzar threatened to throw them into a blazing furnace if they didn't turn away from the true God to worship his golden statue, these three men displayed, courage, uh, displayed courageous and confident faith. They never doubted the Lord was worthy of their worship, even if he didn't rescue them from their current predicament. And God didn't leave them or didn't leave them alone in their time of need. He joined and he protected them in the furnace. God doesn't leave us alone either. He remains with us through trials that we can that we can feel as destructive as Nebuchadnezzar's furnace. Even if our suffering doesn't end on this side of eternity, God is always is. I'm going to read it again. God is and always will be mighty, trustworthy, and good. We can rely on his constant and loving presence. Amen. Prayer says, Lord, thank you for being with us, no matter what we are going through. Amen. The footnote says, faith relies on our almighty God's unchanging character, not on our own circumstances. Today's reading was from Daniel chapter 3, verses 13 through 25, and the key verse was Daniel chapter 3, verse 17. The God we serve is able to deliver us. True story there. But I bet you tell through this episode. The boat and the bunny. Let's go. I, I, man, I don't remember. Veggie Tales. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I gotta get my kids back onto the right now media so they can.
spot. Sorry about that. That wasn't on. Yes, it was. Ah, you're singing time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. Let's see. Uh oh. Let me go clean this up, guys. There's prayers left over from last night. Sorry about that. So here's what we're going to do. I know for a fact we can do this and 12 sixes. All from the broadcast from 12 six. Boom. I know a friend Jonathan there got good news for me. Really? What's that good news? Saying today for my first time doing Christian karaoke. Awesome! Sweet. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I love it. I love it. It has uh, been anything short of just helping out with uh, blood pressure and just breaking me away from work. And when you're at work, sometimes I don't stop, right? And just keep working, 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 working. End up with a real bad, stressful headache. So. That forces me to go out into the car and uh, sing. So that's what I do. Go out to the car and I sing. Got good news for me. So not only that, I parked the furthest way in the parking lot. So I gotta walk like that's quite a bit. It's quite a bit of steps. Quite a bit of steps. I was 20 in the room tonight. That's so good. There's so many people in here. Wow, that's awesome. Guys, you have any prayer requests or praise reports, or if you just want to. Uh, you know, ask a question that I might be able to help with. Uh, certainly, certainly drop it in the chat stream and we'll pray for you. And guys, don't forget to catch the replays. Please, please catch the replays. Especially if you are a giver of super hearts. Because I would much rather see the the uh, the hearts that you're giving um, go to where you intended them to go to. Um, to back into the ministry here uh, rather than back into um, uh, Twitter's pocket because if we don't get the, enough replays I can't I'm not even going to try to um, register for the super broadcaster program because if we don't have enough replays it, I just hate to see you guys waste your money I really do um, so if you could help me out help me help you and uh, I do appreciate the, the hearts you guys give, all the regular hearts, all the super hearts, all the invites and follows and shares. You guys are awesome. And just thanks for supporting me and Jesus Did It team. JDI team is very important. We're, uh, we're, we're trying to make um, it's a movement, right? It's a movement. We're trying to make this movement. Um, it's not us, really. It's being led by God. To, to share the gospel with everybody on uh, social media and we have um, we've, we've come together we have you know 12 team members that we all broadcast you know if we all come from different backgrounds you know there, there's different denominations there's different beliefs there's different you know but the one thing that we stand on is the truth that's in the Bible and um, and the faith and belief in Jesus Christ that's what we share on Bible and Jesus because those are the most important all the rest of the things are just things right it's your singing time uh, uh, you should broadcast man you should broadcast your singing you should do it did you guys do that recommendation I put I put a recommendation for you I think <clears throat> I think it'd be best for you if you had um, some headphones to so try to use the headphones because that's what I use. Use the headphones, the little plug-in things, right? Um, because it keeps the background noise down, so that way um, you can and and you can hear um, when they're you know when you're when you're singing along, you can you can hear. I think that that would be a good suggestion for you. Sorry about the yawn, guys. It's late. Um, Becky will be on very soon. Our friend Becky will be on very, very, very soon. Let me go find that slide. There we go. There we go. Yes. 
so our friend Becky will be on very, very, very soon. And make sure that you, uh, if you want to be lifted up some more, definitely go check out Becky. She's a great prayer warrior. She's um, um, usually usually got a very good word. Um, and uh, definitely, definitely, definitely. So, guys, if you have any prayer requests, praise reports, anything like that, throw it in the broadcast. And we will pray for you. East Coast Vibes. My friend Danny there said uh, he had very good news for me, but never told me what the good news was. But hey, hopefully he comes back. I'm not wearing your knee brace anymore. Was that his good news? That's his good news? That's awesome. I totally missed that comment. Listen to me later, please. Christ, a lot of people. Yes, I will. Definitely. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. That is a good praise report, Danny. If you come back here, you, um, that's awesome. I must have missed that, that comment. Mentoring has joined, and mentoring has left. I guess I don't need mentoring. <laughs> Guys, uh, so awesome, so awesome. We um, good reports today from the kids, um, uh, teachers. Really good day today. Yeah, right. You know, awesome. So I'm gonna put that down. Actually, let's do that. Danny twenty five nine three four oh six. Let's put him down here in the book of prayer. Let's do that. Danny. And his numbers were. How's your daughter? Oh, she is doing much better. Um, <coughs> I think she might actually get some sleep tonight, which would be really good, because she's been one cranky little little person. <laughs> one cranky little person. <coughs> So, she's doing better. Um, like I said, it seems like the medicine might be working, so. It's awesome. Two, five, one, nine, three. Oops, nine, three, four, oh, six, nine, three, four, oh, six. Danny. No longer wearing a re knee brace. That is so awesome. Praise. No longer wearing a knee brace. Awesome, awesome, good news, good news. That's right, praise the Lord too, my daughter. Open Mind by has joined. Welcome, thank you for joining. And uh, Shape Hole, thank you for joining. All right, not very many prayer requests tonight. That's okay. God knows your prayers, so all you gotta do is just speak them. Hey, Carrie, thanks for joining. Bill Crowell is over on Facebook. What's up with that? Huh? Harden it up on Facebook. Awesome, awesome sauce. Yep, catch the replays, please, on Periscope. And if you guys don't know, hey, how's it going? We uh, we broadcast on Facebook, um, Periscope, and on YouTube. And I was I was working on Busker, but then it shut down. I was almost had Busker back up and running with uh, the same broadcast, which had been really cool. And but uh, they they shut down. So there's uh, another one I'm looking at. There's a couple other ones we're looking at um, broadcasting out too. There is a lot of um, a lot of people that need to be ministered to, especially on a lot of the other platforms. And um, it's just getting the ones that can accept the the stream the way that we do it here. 
going good. Only, only one. Only. I would be packing glass mugs at midnight. <laughs> You're the only one packing the glass mugs at midnight. Got it. Hey, it's gotta get done. I don't know. I've washed dishes at, at midnight, one, two in the morning. It's cause, hey, it's gotta do it. They ain't gonna wash themselves. Just like that. They're not gonna get packed themselves, right? <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Well, our friend Becky will be on very, very soon. Let's go ahead and come out and pray for our, for uh, so that's right. All right, so, um, Lord, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this time tonight, Lord, to be able to um, to lift up some prayer and praise to you tonight, Lord. Lord, we know that our friend Jonathan, even though he did not show up tonight, we know that he's entrusted us. We got to catch up on some of the messages on here and see the same time. Eight washing dishes, dude. Do dishwashers? No, sorry guys. Dishwasher is no good when you got well water. It's a, it's like throwing money out of the window. Um, because you'll be fixing that thing more than you would be washing dishes. The water just is not. It just tears it up. So Lord Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this time to be able to spend with all of our friends here on the broadcast. Here, Lord, we just thank you for. Um, the, the 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 people who have trusted us to to pray for them and to um and to take their um their cares and their and their worries and lift them up to up to God uh, for them uh, with them and so Lord we just uh, we ask that um and we praise hey thank you for the super hearts um Lord we we praise tonight about our friend Danny who has left a great message for us that he is no longer wearing his knee brace. Lord, we just uh, we praise you for uh, for healing in his knee, and Lord, we just ask for continued healing uh, in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. Lord, we know our friend. Hey, Craig, thanks for joining. We know that our friend Jonathan um, is still going through some um, look on my replays. For that's right, for Edwin saying it absolutely. Lord, we uh, we we just we. With our friend Jonathan for his home situation and, and some bankruptcy things that are going on. Lord, we also just lift him up. We lift him up. We lift his wife, his daughter, his father, his brother, his two uncles, his unsafe funny, his unsafe family. And Lord, we just ask for that, that smoking to be broken off of him. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name. Amen. Amen. Any more praise? Prayers? Anything like that? <laughs> As I went and listened to it, we did another song again. So, yeah. I gave him a recommendation though about his um his microphone. You should use the microphone on the headset. So let's see. Did I play this song for you guys? Come on, it's Christmas time. You should probably play a Christmas song. Let's do that. Let's do that. Hey, Anna, thank you for joining. Oh, she left. Whoops. Say so she's been in and out every once in a while, but I haven't seen her in a while. Let's do this song. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire Jack Frost nipping at your nose Yuletide carols being sung by a choir And folks dressed up like Eskimos And everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe 
help to make the season bright. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight. They know that Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. And every mother's child is gonna spy to see if reindeer really know how to fly. And so I'm offering this simple phrase To kids from 1 to 92 Although it's been said many times, many ways Merry Christmas to you So I'm offering this simple phrase To kids from 1 to 92 Although it's been said many times, many ways Merry Christmas to I hope you're trolling there, Craig, because I don't think I would have blocked this. FFM Justin, thanks for joining. I don't think I would have blocked Liz. And she would have messaged me on Facebook if I did. I think she's just been busy. Just like you, you were busy too, right? He's always a trolling. Always a trolling. That's all right. We still love our friend. We still love our friend. How about... We're watching, I'll block you, buddy. <laughs> it's just jokes. Let's see. There we go. Let's do this one. Think about 
about the years I've spent just, just passing, passing through. I'd like to have the time I lost and give it back to you. But, but you I just smile and take my hand. You've been there and you understand. It's all part of a grander plan that, that is, is coming true. Every long lost train led me to where you are. Others who broke my heart, they were like northern stars pointing me on my way into your loving arms. This much I know is true. That God bless the broken road. Let me straight to you. JR's in the house, we can get started. Welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> Alright, guys. And who am I? So, yes, listen, guys, if you are um, interested in learning anything about sound, mastering sound, doing that, hello, I'm resting at the gym. There you go. There you go. You're getting that workout on. That's good. Hey guys, if you have any, any interest in sound, check out my man JR. Um, he has um, a book for sale on Amazon, and um, it's called, um, uh, what is it called? Mastering, I oh, mean, I have it right here. Trying to be like Pastor Rick. It's good, it's good. Yep, we all we all can afford to lose a couple pounds. Audio mastering secrets. There you go. By there you go. There you go. So take a look at that. Um, it's a good book. I've been reading it. It's a really good book. He takes uh you know, not his his 19 years of experience of uh of uh of, of audio mastering and just uh lays it all out in a really really good book so uh drinking jameson nope i'm not it's an audio engineer book absolutely and it's a good book too so take a look at that <laughs> no i'm drinking organic india you really must know no problem buddy no problem <coughs> that's what we do we lift each other up and we help others Tool C T Tool C probably can't see it, it's probably anyways, it's Tool C, Organic India, Lemon Ginger, Caffeine Free, Organic Corn Whiskey. There you go. Audio Matching Secrets on Amazon. Yep. Yep. Listen, uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty good book. Pretty good book. Um audio mastering is like um, getting stuff ready for, for yeah, it's pretty technical. <laughs> it's pretty technical um, because that that's something that we do. Um, does Tulsi have for you? Notice it. Let me see. Yeah, Tulsi, holy holy basil, holy basil is definitely um, probably very above your head. But hey, it's always good to be able to learn a little bit more, right? So Tulsi is um um. It's basil, so it's got it's a holy basil, and it's supposed to be good for 
I take any time I start feeling like I feel like I got something coming on. Yes, if you're not someone into it, yep. Yep. It's really good. It's, and ginger. The ginger's great because it just helps kick anything out of your throat. Anything there. Yeah, it's for relieving stress. Yeah, holy basil. Yep, Tulsi. That's what Tulsi is. T U L S I is holy basil. So it's ginger, lemon, and I put um, some raw, um, raw local honey. So this is raw local honey, and it's, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. He's working. He's working out. He's working out. Rick, he's working out. <laughs> it's good tea. It's really good tea. You might be able to get the organic section at your uh, local market. Um, it's just organic India. Great stuff. I found it, found it the one year, and it's just I've. That's it. You take one snake oil product. That's uh, expensive. Yep, that one there is good honey. That's good honey. I see it when I get home. Good, good, good. A time to spam Rick's inbox. <laughs> That's funny right there. Alright. Alright guys, we are at our 200, almost 200 viewers. Thank you so much. Probably we'll get the water key for green. Oh, this, yeah. Yeah, if you, I think they're dehydrated when you, you bought the dehydrated ones. So it's going to take a little bit. What's up, playa? <laughs> um, didn't have to go to the doctor a few times because of the honey. I'll tell you what, that honey has helped a lot with uh, with with just um, allergies and all kinds of stuff. Follow instructions, yeah, definitely follow the instructions. Um, hydration, hydrating in them and getting them back up and running, you know, are is very important. You missed the singing. You missed us singing. Oh, I'm sitting over here on the wrong screen. Sorry, guys. I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, we're singing, right? Churches. Hmm. I'm trying to find him. Would anybody like to hear Edwin sing? Yeah, apparently he said he sang another song. I'm going to try to check it out, see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah. <laughs> but you sang the same song, wasn't it? Or did you sing a different one? Let me check. It's SR Surge, SRG. G J K L F E Q R S Surge Edwin D S. Let's hear Edwin again. You guys want to hear Edwin? You guys want to hear Edwin? Put a one in the chat stream if you want to hear Edwin. Oh, he did. He did another one. He did another. Um, one. All right. Cool. Edwin. Which song did you want, buddy? There's I Will Always Love You. There's Without You. There's two of them. It must be your favorite song right now. Do you do one today? You did one today. You want me to do that one? Uh, is he here? Edwin! Yeah, you want to do the one from today? We'll do it, man. We'll do it. There we go. I gotta get, you know, I gotta buy a mouse that's not so loud on the click. Thanks so loud. James Bond 777's in the house, guys. Check it out. Bond. James Bond. There he is. Edwin. Let's do this. I will always love you. Hey, hey, 
My computer can only handle so much guys see that this is what happens sorry about that Edwin great job buddy I don't know what's up with the software it does this every once in a while um, Edwin your mic isn't on exactly no the problem is he's not I don't think he's using a mic so Edwin that's why I told him he's got to invest in a brat pack is there anybody here ever missed the 80s Yeah. yeah so good job buddy good job your mic was on I could hear you a little bit but what we, yeah so I said it's best to just get yourself a headset no you need a headset you must use a headset with this app that's the only way you're gonna get a good recording because if not it's going to replay and that's the that's the, how what you heard was the song replaying itself back into the microphone of the phone and um, 
yeah, it causes uh, a loud noises and stuff, so, you know, <clears throat> and like that echoey kind of sound to it, you got one. Yeah, definitely use that for the next one, buddy. You'll be good. You'll be good, man. Sing your heart out, man. Sing it out. Why not, right? I was in the 80s. It was great, but I do not want to look back much. <laughs> I'm with it, Jer. What happened in the 80s stays in the 80s. Because <laughs> there's some... Mm -mm. I don't want to see fluorescent clothing come back. Or those... Those, uh... Oh, no. The funky hairstyles with the... Yeah, no. No, 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 no. App says so. Use the headset with best recording. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I had, so did I. I had hair then too. I actually had long hair. It was down below my, you know, past my shoulders. That woman was being funny. Yeah, she was. She was. She had that kid there. Was by, well, I think the kid was messing with. It's for 80, 80. No. Cut it out. I'll tell you, I was born in 1974. I'm trying to be, I don't know. You had big hair? Goodness. All the hairspray, all that stuff. Mm -mm. The stuff that girls did to their, their hair back then was amazing. And like, they got some stuff that's like, like, tall, like, 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 tall. <laughs> That was Trump. <laughs> I guess it just me lack of responsibilities. Uh, what's that? You were oh you were born in 1991. Okay. All right. I was gonna say uh, if it was the other thing I don't know about that. Oh yeah, neon colors. Don't want that back. Not at all. Not at all. I guess I just want that. This, I guess it's just me, lack of responsibility, and good times. Yeah, I guess so. Jesus TV has left the building. Uh, I don't know, that's right. That's what I thought. I'm like, what? No, I know what he was typing though. I'm Xbox. Thanks for joining on the uh, on the broadcast. Thank you so much on your first day on Periscope. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. You've come on to a Jesus Did It broadcast. And so we uh, we uplift people. We uh, we um, just share the love of Jesus Christ with everybody. Uh -huh. Your year. It was the year he was born. 1991. I was in junior high school. Junior year of high school. Didn't have the internet then. I know, right? There's no internet. What's that? What was that? <laughs> you know. Alright guys. Time for bed. Our friend Becky's probably already on. Well, at least I hope she's on. Because um, we're over here forcing around a little bit. In the old times, yeah. So please make sure you go visit our friend Becky at Becky1212. Um on her broadcast here she should be on already if not she will be on very shortly um, at Becky1212 you can catch her at jesusdidit.org website um, as well as all the rest of the great Jesus Did It broadcasters and um, please excuse me please make sure that you um, catch a replay or two Please help lift up the replay numbers. It would be awesome. I'm so thankful. We're oldies, but goodies. I agree. I agree. Ain't nothing wrong with me. I am good to go. All right. Only 27. There he goes. There he goes. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining. Let's go ahead and um, let's do this. Thank you so much for joining me on my journey from Genesis to Revelation, one chapter at a time. I appreciate every single one of you guys, and you, and you, and you, and you, and even you too, Edwin. I appreciate you guys, all you guys. I thank you for joining on my broadcast. I'm going to be able to pray for you. I'm going to be able to spend time with you. 
and just um, do life together. It's great. And uh, um, thanks for allowing me to be able to pray for you. That's really important. And um, and yeah, thanks for joining. Come on back. Listen, there's Becky. Um, make sure you catch her. Um, yeah, thanks. And uh, just thanks for joining. Thanks for being here. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for all the hearts, invites, files, and shares, all of the super hearts, and just um, just the love that you guys share. It's awesome. All right, so let's pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this tonight, this broadcast tonight. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for allowing us for all to be able to wake up and be able to walk on your creation, Lord. Lord, we uh, we're, we're lifting up some prayers to you tonight, Lord, in your mighty and powerful uh, Son's name. We lift them up to you. Lord, we just ask that you receive these prayers and that if it is your will, that they be completed in your mighty Jesus, mighty Son's name, Jesus Christ, we pray. And Lord, we, we are so thankful for your Son who was sent here to uh, walk this earth for 33 years as a man to, to show us what a perfect and sinless and holy human being is supposed to look like. And Lord, you took all of our sins up on the cross with you. And then you died. You took them away. Lord, then you were buried three days later. I'm sorry, you were born, you are buried, and you were, you were buried, and you rose again three days later, from out of the grave, the only one to ever, ever, ever conquer death. Lord, we're thankful for that, because we know that you are the Messiah, that you are the chosen one, you are the one who is to take away the sin of the world, to take away my sins. I deserve it, but I'll receive it. And Lord, as you ascended to heaven, you said you'd be back again one day. So Lord, as we, we worship you and we praise you and as we patiently wait for that time of your return, we thank you, God. For Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, take it easy. Have a nice night. Get some rest. I love you. Jesus did it, loves you. Uh, but most importantly, know that Jesus loves you. And... Um, on back tomorrow and we'll do it again some more beating up of hebrew names <laughs> so have a nice night that's right and be blessed God of creation, there had to stop before the beginning of time. No point of reference spoke to the dark and flesh out the wonder of life. And as you speak, a hundred billion galaxies are born. In the vapor of your breath, the planets form. If the stars were made to worship, so will I. I can see your heart in everything you've made. Every burning star, a single fire of grace. If creation sings your praises, so will I. So will I. God of your promise, you don't speak in vain, no syllable empty your voice. But once you have spoken, all nature and science follow the sound of your voice. And as you
evolving in pursuit of what you said. If it all reveals your nature, so, so will I. I. I can see your heart in everything you say. Every painted sky, a canvas of your grace. If creation still obeys you, so, so will I. So will I The stars were made, made to worship so, so well If the oceans roar your greatness, so will I. Or if everything exists to lift you high, so will I. The wind goes where you send it, so will I. If the rocks cry out in silence, so will I. If the sun Then we'll sing again a hundred billion times. God of salvation. Chase down my heart through all of my failure and pride. On a hill you created the light of the world, abandoned in darkness to die. And as you speak. Hundred billion failures disappear Where you lost your life so I could find it here If you left the grave behind you, so will I I can see your heart in everything you Every part designed in a work of art called love. If, if you gladly chose surrender, so will I. I can see your heart a billion different ways. Every precious one, a child who died to save. If you gave your life to love them, so will I. Like you would again a hundred billion times. But what measure could amount to your desire? You're, You're the, the one who never leaves the one behind. God bless you. Bless you too, Wendy. Praise God for you. And to you as well.